Welcome back. Now in this video we are going to just go through a brief process of showing you how to upload files to your domain name and your hosting. And whenever you place uh, files on your domain name and hosting you are going to need to have a special program uh, that's called an FTP program and we'll show you that right now. Now the free program that most marketers use is called FileZilla and all you got to do is go to the, the FileZilla uh, link that goes right here at the top. You're going to want to download the client copy. Uh, so you know you, there's also a server download but you want to download the client copy and then you're going to have a program uh, on your hard drive. Now that program is going to look something like this. And what you're going to be able to do is you are literally going to be able to see your website from the other side or from the or from the other end and you are going to be able to upload files to it. Now in this box that is the host box, this is going to be the name of your domain name. So in this particular case, you're going to want to without the www without the http going to want to write in your host name. In this area, you're going to get a username. Now, this username is going to come from your hosting account, right? So you'll need to get that information. It'll typically come in an email, and you're going to use that information in order to log in. You're also going to get from your host a password to use. Now, you'll be able to use that password for this domain name and this hosting, and that will allow you to log in and get into the files into your uh, into the back area of your website. You're going to see one other box here, and that's going to be the port area. Uh, you're not going to use that area too much. So for the most part, if you use HostGator, you'll just be able to use these three boxes in order to get your website uh, in order to get your website started. Now, once you have all that information entered in here. You're just going to click the quick connect button here. And when you do that, you're going to see some files here. You're going to see this particular directory that says public HTML. Now that's really where you're going to put all of the files that the public is going to see. Now when you want to create a place to, let's say, put a file that's going to be downloaded, you're going to do it inside of this public HTML folder. So the way FileZilla works is that once you're logged in, you can literally cl click these directories and use them just as you would on your personal computer. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click inside of the public HTML folder. And as you can see, there are no folders there. So what I'm going to do now is just so that you can see me do it, I'm going to create a folder and a directory and I'm going to just right click I'm going to create a directory and I'm going to put in here bonus. Right, so if I want to deliver my bonus from that directory, now all I've got to do is click inside of here and I'll literally be able to use this directory on my server in order to deliver my bonus. So let's take a look at how I would do that. So of course what I would do is I would make it deliverable, I'd right click it, I'd send it to a compressed file on my on my computer then once I do that then it's ready for uploading to my server and literally all I've got to do is drag and drop it up to my server and I'm gonna do that by just sliding it over dragging and dropping it into that bonus file and it's gonna start the upload process and there you'll see it's now on my server and now I can deliver it now uh, in order to get the URL um, I, all I would have to do is have my domain name and then forward slash and this directory. So when you see the public HTML, you might want to say that that's just like seeing your domain name. So this would be your domain name, forward slash, bonus, and then your webinar file, and you would have a file that is ready for delivery. And that is how you upload files to your hosting. So with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.